So the, so the context uh, logically is a part of the CEM platform. The, the basis of the, of the customer experience management platform is an aggregation of, uh, of functionality that we use for our own customer experience management uh, applications in the broader sense. So functionality that we use in web experience management, functionality that we, that we use in digital asset management, but also functionality that we use on the delivery side um, to, to our customers, uh, be it in, in each and every of the, of the channels. In, in the life of a marketer, I, I usually distinguish between sort of the two uh, different the two different streams that we that we have in marketing. We have obviously the people that that create um, the marketing campaigns that are that are uh, working very closely with um, the creative people, of course. That once uploaded their assets, they're uh, being refined and tuned and and put together into into campaigns. Um, and for those people, obviously, the web content management or the web experience management solution um, is the primary uh, thing they work with. And that's also where all the, all the omniture tagging, etc. comes into play that is then picked up uh, by the, by the uh, omniture uh, uh, online marketing suite to give the more strategic marketing, uh, marketing uh, people, the CMO essentially, their dashboard to go in and see how did my overall uh, uh, campaigning? Uh, how did that? How did that all work out? And having that from one um, suite of product, having that closely integrated from the get-go is definitely um, something that saves a lot of effort in terms of integrating, uh, in terms of integrating the best of breed products. The bits and pieces that we have in the in the in the customer experience management platform. Um, are things like the, the content repository, obviously, as an interaction point for all the different, um, for all the different applications uh, that, that our customers build or solutions that our customers build, um, but also uh, pieces like the, 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 the concept of the context and the interaction with the context. Uh, happens at that level. Also things like, for example, access to, to backend, uh, backend data services is something that 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 uh, isn't isn't on, on that tier, and also things like a like a general purpose uh, a business process management engine uh, is definitely something that belongs into into this tier. It's it's centered around the centered around the content repository, um, the the CRX uh, uh, delivery framework that we have. That's the core of the the core of the customer experience management platform. From a, from a WEM uh, perspective, the, the notion of a content repository that we have for storing uh, information in general, general purpose information, lends itself very well to store profile information. The reason for that is that a profile is usually a space that is relatively semi-structured there's information there that is hard structured, like your age, your password, your email address, and so forth. And then you get into, into a place where it becomes a little bit fluffier, where you have activity streams and where you have things that, that may be there, may not be there. And I, I have this, this, uh, this tendency to say that in every user's profile looks different, even from a structure standpoint. It's not like you have one structure and you can apply that. To all the different um, to all the different profiles. Now, another thing that that really lends itself to store profiles in a content repository is the fact that access control is extremely important. CRX, in the in the broader sense, is generally the the the, the, the basis of the CEM platform. Mm -hmm. The context is too volatile to be persisted in many cases. Mm -hmm. So it's the context. Um, the context travels in places where the content repository can never reach.